Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to unbox another pixie box. And this one is a little bit later. This was the November one and it's the Winter Wonderland themed one. Now I haven't opened this before so um, all the broken tissue paper in there comes from them. I don't know if they had to reopen it or something like that or just misplaced it. It doesn't matter. Um, as long as the insides are not damaged. And we have this lovely little card with, of course, their social media information on the back. So feel free to pause there. And our first mold is this star mold. This is like a four prong star mold with like two holes on each star on each side. So probably for a garland or something like that. And then we get pink and white Morani pigment and some iridescent one. You can see the pigment kind of collected to one side. And yeah, even after shaking, the camera will not pick up how iridescent this is, so even after trying again, um, you just have to believe me that it actually is as iridescent as they claim. Uh, we also get these gnome molds and we get some charms and these are cute little snowflake charms in gold. And then we get some tiny gingerbread house canes. They're not as refined, but they have a lot of detail with decorations, so they would be cute inclusions for some shakers, I'm sure. And then we have this um, Santa Claus that actually looks like he has like sunglasses or something on, um, but he looks pretty neat. And we got some nail decorations in like this light blue, like kind of icy blue. And we get three glitters, so we have so we have this pink that kind of shifts to a turquoise, this uh, dark red in the middle, which is a finer type glitter, and then this like turquoise, which kind of shifts to green. And then we get a giant mold, and this one is a snowman. And this is pretty huge, as you can see. This is a hefty mold, and it looks pretty decent. I, I think with the light inside, this would pretty neat. And then we get four of these smaller molds and if we get a candy cane and a Christmas tree and they have these like grooves for details and they have these like tiny spare parts where there will be a gap in the resin and I have the feeling they will fit these lumps. Kind of like the mermaid Ariel box we got in the Disney theme ones. Uh, let's see which kind of color they have. The last one was just this like warm white. And as always, they're super hard to turn, so I'm gonna use my Cricut tool. You can use anything, like any wire, anything that, that fits in there, you can use to help you turn it. And this one is actually color shift. And I'm sorry for the slight bit of lines there, that just my camera settings. Uh, yeah, very interesting to see how long these will last and how they will look when you put them inside the molds. Now the last two molds which are for these lamps are this ornament and this stocking. And I like the ornament. I'm not sure if I like the decorations on these ones, but I think you can make some cute things with this. And then we have our last two items, which are these really colorful snowflake kinds. Uh, I don't know in which world uh, snowflakes have these colors, but they very well might be working as sprinkles, so that's a cute idea. And then we got all of these gold foilings, and they're hard to see, but we got like a gingerbread man top hat for a uh, like snowman, star, present, Christmas tree, and all that. And they're really shiny with the gold and the like rainbow foiling effect. It's really pretty. I think they would definitely fit well on some festive themed things. But now that we've seen all of the items, let's have a look inside the card. And yeah, seems like we got everything. And again, we get some neat examples of some of the things they included, like the gnome mold they 
shown us some examples and apparently we get random glitters so I'm really happy with the selection I got. I love the like turquoise color and the pink, they're some of my favorite colors. And yeah, here you can also see which uh, things are actually included into the glitter confetti without the camera like getting crazy over the glittering effect. But now it's actually time for some festive crafts. I thought if I wanted to color the gnomes afterwards, but I decided why not try out the acrylic paint method. So basically you just glop on a thick layer of acrylic paint inside of your mold, let it dry, pour on the resin and then it's embedded. And I always wanted to try that in a larger fashion. I, I painted some lines on the sign before, that was the first time I tried it and it worked really well. So, you know, I decided to make the gnomes that way. Of course, they have so many details that, yeah, I couldn't be as exact as I wanted, but I thought, you know, maybe I can clean it up later. Um, so let's see how that will go. Anyways, I, I decided to, since one of them has spots, you know, why not make them into a kind of mushroomy colored themed gnome. And yeah, so basically red and white, it was for a mushroom. <laughs> And of course, it's really hard to paint around the like uh, hole maker thing. So yeah, that won't be the color too, but it shouldn't be too much of a bother. And with the rest, I'm just going with simple brown tones to not distract from the rest of the colors, but also make it fit a little bit in the wintry theme, in the like cozy wintry theme. And the second one I decided to paint uh, green. This one has like a stripey effect on the head, uh, but I, I did decided to not bother with actually painting the stripes in. I, I thought since they were so small, you know, it would just be too much work, but you know, a flat color can also look really nice. And the good thing is these will leave grooves, so I can just, you know, fill it in with another color of acrylic paint to let the details pop and actually get some stripes. Now by trying to clean it up after it dried, it just flaked right off. So I just went in with some more acrylic paint and fixed it. it this really doesn't stick to the silicone mold. It just sits in there. Um, so yeah, definitely not <laughs> being able to clean it up after the paint is dried or it will just crack away. But now that we finished that, let's get to pouring. And as you can see, I use a bit of the golden uh, pigment, which I love so much from the New Year's box. It just awesome. It just looks so good. And I thought, you know, shading some of the stars would be really nice. And then I just go in with some plain white for the gnomes to have a nice background color. And both of these things turned out really, really nice. The stars have a nice shine to them from the pigment and the uh, color is really in there. I tried to see if I can scratch it off on the places where I overpainted, but you really can't. It feels also really even, although you can see some of the brush strokes um, were dried unevenly, but like it is like a very smooth resin surface, which is super nice. And I decided to ink it in black because white was the background color, so I just wanted to have something that has a little bit of contrast. So I just watered down some acrylics and painted it in there. And our next project will be the little ornament and I decided why not put something inside of there so I just made a basic snowman out of polymer clay uh, textured it a bit I didn't have a toothbrush so I used my wire brush works practically the same it's just a bit harder to clean if you get something in there but since I didn't texture it too too hard you know it was fine
I did not use bacon bone, so it fell apart. Uh, but I couldn't find it, so I just, you know, use some super glue instead and just place all the things on the snowman before using a permanent marker and coloring in of the little details like the stone buttons and the stone eyes. I'm not gonna give it the arms. I could have done that before I baked it with like some wires or some sticks, but you know, I didn't feel like it. So instead this will just be a basic armless snowman. Uh, to fix it inside of the mold and to make it look a bit like there's a snowy ground, I'm just using uh, the same method I basically use for clouds in mixing paper clay with my resin. And I just use a bit more than I would use for clouds and it works really, really well. And afterwards I just pour in some clear resin that I mixed with a little bit of white glitter and you know I thought I needed way more than I actually needed so I made way too much so I put some extra things as it happens um, you know always have some extra molds at hand being it like a coaster mold that you can layer anything like that where you can burn your extra because it would be a huge waste if you would just leave it in the cup I mean if you're a person that has a turntable uh, or something like that or you know likes to sand down and make object that way out of resin you may as well leave it in the cup but I'm not that kind of person so I prefer to have just random things like this little stocking and let's see how the snowman turned out and yeah the, the glitter sunk a little bit but you can still see him enough I would say and with the lights he definitely looks really really nice like a snowman in a winter wonderland and here's it with the lights turned on and that was everything I wanted to make with this box today now oh, was this box festive was it worth it in my eyes, yes, uh, you definitely had some decorations you can use, like the garland and these ornaments. Uh, if you're not a huge fan of Christmas decorations, you know, maybe not so much, because there was nothing, like, useful, useful in there. But as a decoration box, definitely really nice. And if you make, like, a light-up snowman or something like that, that could also be really cute. I'm super happy and I'm also happy that the gnomes don't quite look like Christmas Christmas gnomes so you can definitely make it like spring gnomes also. I added them to a garland with the stars. I put a second set of stars with the clear resin with white glitter and I thought you know why not make two garlands. Of course you can add anything to that like the golden snowflakes we got in there or beads or anything else or you could just you know stick them on a wreath or something like that. I think they're super cute so I'm really happy and I'm happy that I found anything that I could craft in this box at all. I'm not a massive fan of overly decorating things but these, uh, this box actually has some crafts that you and items that you can use on other things like the Morandi colorants. I really like them and I also like that I got a pink and a white instead of like a red and a white. I think that's more versatile. Of course, considering the Christmas colors, uh, red would definitely be more on theme, but you know, I'm happy with the selection and I actually needed more white Morandi pigment dye because mine is running out, so that's a nice added bonus. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Let me know what your thoughts were of this box. Um, did you like it? Did you even get it? and which one was your favorite mold and your favorite project of mine. And a little thing at the end, I definitely tested out the duration of the light up time for the tiny lamps and it's significantly less than the just one colored ones. Um, it lasted like three, four hours, which, you know, is kind of a bit little, but considering the brightness it has and like how tiny the batteries are inside, it's understandable, uh, so yeah, make sure you only put it on maybe on Christmas or something like that uh, when you like or when it's dark when you really want to see the ornaments or put in different lights. I'm sure you can maybe affix it to like a Christmas light in any other way, like just a 
Christmas like garland uh, or something like that. You know, pour in some resin, put it on the garland or something like that. I'm, I'm sure you can find something else to light this up instead of this light. I just wanted to test it because, you know, it looks really pretty with the color change. Anyways, hope you have a nice day. Bye!